Hey guys, this is Computer Tucky, and today I'm going to show you how to make a text reflection effect in GIMP. So here's what we're going to be making today. Something similar to that. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up GIMP first. And once GIMP is opened up, you go up to File, New. It doesn't matter what the dimensions are, but uh, you can go ahead and click OK if you want to. And you want to make sure you have this Layers window right here. If you don't have it, you can get it by going up to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and click on Layers so that you have this window. And once you've opened up this window, you can go ahead and figure out what your background color is going to be. I'll just do a red right here. Okay, and I'll click on the Bucket tool and fill it in. And once you've filled in your background, go up to this A right here. This is the Text tool and draw a big rectangle so you can type in your text and I'll just type in CT um, you probably can't see it so I'll change the color to a white okay and I'll change my font to my usual font hold on a second okay and you can make the size bigger if you want to I'll make it about that big and once you have your original text, you can go ahead and make the box smaller and go up to the Move tool. And you can put it wherever you want. I think I'll put it somewhat in the center, like like that. And once you've done that, go up to Layer and click on Duplicate Layer. And it doesn't look like you did anything, but uh, there's a new layer uh, put on top of the original layer. So just drag it down with the Move tool to the bottom of the original text. And once you've done that, go up to Layer and click Transform, Flip Vertically. So this should flip over your second layer of text. So just move it somewhat uh, beneath the original text so it'll look like a reflection. And once you've done that, right-click on the upside-down text and then uh, click on Add Layer Mask. Make sure it says White Full Opacity and then click Add. Now you want to go to your blend tool, which is this box right here. Make sure that the mode is normal and that the shape is linear. Go to gradient and click on FG to transparent. And once you've done that, click on the bottom of your rectangle and do draw a uh, vertical line just like that. And it doesn't really look like a reflection because the background is red. But uh, it should look more like a reflection if you have a darker background, such as black or navy. Uh, as you can see from the original picture I showed you in the beginning of this video, it looks a lot better with the black background. But um, So once you've done that, uh, that's really all you have to do. You can go ahead and save it once you're finished editing it. Uh, you can go up to File and go down to Save As. And you can name it whatever you want, but after you name it, make sure that you type in .jpg. I'll save it onto my desktop. Click Save. Click on Export. Drag your quality to 100 and click Save. I can go ahead and close GIMP. And here's what it looks like in the end. And I'll show you the other picture too. See, like the darker background looks much better than the red background. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me a message or leave me a comment. I'd really like to know what you have to say. Thanks.